Tom Fernandez on. Uh, good morning, Soup. Hey, half a day, Chris, and half a day, Sabrina. Half a day. So, uh, graduation's officially canceled. Do you kind of want to go in on the release that you guys had sent out yesterday afternoon? Yeah, and if you don't mind, I just want to take a quick moment to just, uh, you know, th during the school year, this would normally be a Teacher Appreciation Week, mm -hmm. as well as uh, tomorrow would be our nat National uh, School Nurses Day. And I, w I just want to uh, say to all of our teachers out there, uh, just really say a big thank you, uh, Dr. Nancy Mossy, for all the work and especially those who are still working and still uh, reaching out to their kids and supporting them through the lessons that uh, that uh, they're getting at home and, uh, you know, we're supporting parents as well. And then also, you know, for our school nurses who are out there, we've got about 40 nurses deployed uh, in various uh, parts of the COVID-19 response. Just want to make sure that uh, they know we're thinking of them and, and uh, looking out for, for their um, safety and well-being as well. But uh, but on to graduation, you know, I, I, I just want to, you know, let everybody know it's never, it's just, it's a totally terrible, um, you know, position yeah. to be in, to be the one to let everybody know that our traditional you know, planned graduation ceremonies aren't going to be happening this year. And, uh, you know, we really wanted to delay this decision as much as possible. A lot of us want to, wanted to hope, you know, maybe things will change, uh, but as the, the, as the emergency situation has, has continued to extend, uh, also just kind of learning a little bit more about UOG's plans. Uh, you know, you heard that UOG and GCC are, are also planning to, uh, look at a virtual ceremony versus a physical ceremony. You know, our, our, uh, ceremonies are planned on the first week of June and it just doesn't, didn't, uh, it's just not going to happen uh, on that schedule. So we, we really need to let our high schools know, our classes, uh, as well as our principals to know that uh, if there's any time and a chance to prepare for an alternative type of celebration, mm -hmm. uh, we, we need to get those plans finalized so that we don't lose that opportunity uh, and um, you know, we'll try to support them in, in their efforts. So that was really the need to really uh, make that decision so the schools could move forward with their alternative planning. And uh, later this week, we'll be meeting with all the principals to get a handle on what their needs are, what the plans are, uh, you know, what the classes want to do, and then we're going to do what we can to support their efforts. Have you heard any um, alternatives? Any suggestions? Well, you know, a lot of a lot around? of uh, we've seen a lot of examples of things that are already happening. You know, maybe around the world and on the mainland, uh, in terms of things like um, you know virtual ceremonies, of course, uh, where where the ceremony takes place online. Uh, also, um, you know, you know how we do our grab and go, mm -hmm. almost like a drive-through graduation ceremony where students can come and and pick up their uh, their diplomas. Um, suggestions about you know some types of or form of a motorcade um, type of ceremony where people are in their cars and they get to celebrate but you know maintaining the social distancing and and all the other uh, safety requirements so uh, you know we, we, we've asked the schools to go ahead and think through the various ways they might want to uh, celebrate uh, and then we also have some classes who suggested that if there are funds available you know making a donation uh, to support our frontliners or, or other worthy causes during this this pandemic so normally uh, and i want to remind everybody you know the central office and uh, the guam education board we don't really get involved in the the planning of the celebration that normally takes place at the school level uh and the classes get to make their unique you know school ceremonies um, you know very special for them so um this is kind of an unusual situation but again we want to allow them to be creative find an alternative way to celebrate and then we're going to do our best to support them mm -hmm. is, is your daughter graduating um no but i have been picking her brain <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what if you were in this situation <laughs> what, is, what what you know what options would you look at and of course you know she's paying attention to all the social media stuff that mm -hmm. other you know high schoolers are doing so i try to like test you know somebody's thoughts out there right, right. um but you know again it's really important that the class that the graduating classes have a say yeah. in what that alternative is and so uh they just really needed to kind of uh, get them get the message get the decision that it's not really going to happen under plan a which was to gather at the field house but now we can move to plan b because we you know we're going to if we don't start uh you know putting those plans in place now we, we're going we're gonna to run out of time mm -hmm. so uh we do have a lot of parents and students saying you know what about postponing it what about delaying it you know we're certainly open to that uh, you know we just want to remind them that the longer this goes on and you know this gets pushed up uh, further and further it becomes uh, you know a risk that it might not happen at all mm -hmm. so uh, we want to see what we can do to strike that balance and, and celebrate our class 
appropriately. And I want, I also want people to know we don't take this lightly as if it's just a ceremony. Yeah. We understand the importance to families and students, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, to, to celebrate this milestone in, in their youngsters' lives. And so we, we really uh, tried not to have to make this decision uh, if we could, if we could, if we didn't have to. But you know, at some point we have to move forward and make sure we don't lose mm-hmm. the opportunity to to have a worthwhile celebration that's safe and uh, and can be done during this type of situation. Okay, just real quickly, because uh, Chris is giving me the, the sign Sorry. and the signal. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask, what was the status of FBLG? So, um, you know, from, from, I mean, basically the, you know, the healthcare status, you know, I would, um, you know, the individuals get their healthcare information. We mm-hmm. kind of get word indirectly here and there. Uh, my understanding is that even though uh, I'm not aware of any positive tests, um, they are, you know, they were required to get quarantined uh, for safety purposes. Anyone who gets tested uh, was given instruction to at least quarantine for a certain amount of time, knowing that there was somebody positive in their midst uh, that mm-hmm. had tested positive. So uh, we got a, we got, you know, a range of seven to 14 days quarantine. So we're okay. just going to go with 14 days and then we'll make a decision about uh, reopening, uh, especially uh, letting, letting uh, the time go so we can clean the facility as well. Right. Okay. Okay. So, anything? Right. Any other? Anything else you wanted to get out? Right. Uh, no. I, well, I do want the seniors, the class of 2020, to know that there's a lot of questions that they have, and I want to just point them to our website. Yesterday, we we did a, a full update of our class of 2020 page to answer a lot of the questions that are coming through emails and, and texts and so forth. So we ask them go to go to our homepage www.gdoe.net. There's a class of 2020 link. Go mm-hmm. there, and you'll have a chance to look at the question, the responses, and also ask further questions. So we uh, want them to go there and get the information they need. Got it. www.gdoe.net. Correct. All right. All right. Thank you, Soup. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Wash Stay your hands. Safe. Yes, definitely. Okay. Right. Eight fifty nine. Uh, let's keep it going here. Right, go I wanted over. to just okay. let people know okay. that we do have a uh, <laughs> an online program for the class of twenty twenty. Right. Jason, did you want to share with everybody what we're doing? No? Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we, we've got, we're celebrating the class of 2020 uh, with a special bi-weekly feature uh, that starts actually this week. Right. Um, starts tomorrow. 